Hi, and welcome to HUDKeen.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Spring, Texas. Spring is located north of Houston, and we are in the North Hill subdivision. This is a little bit of an older, more established neighborhood, but it's nice nonetheless. We're standing in front of 626 Silverton. That's 626 Silverton, a very nice single-story, three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home. It has a two-car garage, a very large two-car garage. It is approximately 1,979 square feet, and it was built in 1974. The home has an in-ground pool and sits on a very large 13,050 square foot lot. And it is quite a bit under count the county appraisal. Actually, the last time this home sold in the MLS here in Houston, it sold for $171,000. And this is priced actually at about $65,000 less than that right now. It is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive and it is eligible for a rehab loan. So you can actually borrow money to buy this home and borrow money to do the repairs with a small $100 down payment. It's a great opportunity. The home did appear to have flooded during Hurricane Harvey because you'll notice when we do an interior view or a walkthrough that there is sheetrock missing but all of that can easily be repaired, replaced, especially when you're looking at a home that's probably seventy to eighty thousand dollars underneath the county appraisal. As a matter of fact, if we were to use Realtor.com to calculate the median price per square foot of homes in this neighborhood, it puts this home at about one hundred and eighty thousand, which is about eighty thousand dollars more than the list price. So, as you can see, exterior is all brick. There is some wood siding, some hardy plank siding that has been updated. It has a nice, very large parking area and lots of potential for great landscaping. The garage door here is a little dinged up, so you might want to repair that. And it has a beautiful double door here, so let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. We step into the backyard through these double doors, and as you can see, it does have a very large lot. It does have a beautiful in-ground pool, or what could be a beautiful in-ground pool. It will definitely need some work, but a lot of potential for landscaping. Nice big wooden deck. Now the wooden deck is wood, so some of it is a little warped. You'll probably want to come back and repair, replace that. But the roof actually looks in good condition. We'll take a look at the side over here. You have a little covered section. Entry into your laundry room and then side of the home and actually garage access over here. So let's take a look at the inside and then ultimately I'll give you guys a summary. Well, we step inside through these beautiful two double doors, and if we turn to the left, you have a little coat closet here. You'll uh, instantly notice that there is a lot of sheetrock missing, as I mentioned, because the home appears to have flooded during Hurricane Harvey. We are then into your big family room with a very high vaulted ceiling. It has these kind of old dated mirrors. I would probably pull those off. If we turn to the right when you walk in, we actually have a little hallway that takes you over to a formal dining room. So you have a nice formal dining room. You have these three really neat windows here into this formal dining right off of the kitchen. And then we do have access into your kitchen, but I'm gonna come another way through your family room to show you the kitchen. Now there's a lot of opportunity to remodel this home and maybe move some walls and kind of restructure it the way that you want. So you do have a fireplace and some built-in bookshelves over here. These are the two doors that we took to get outside. We come around the corner here into your, uh, your little breakfast area and that in turn opens up into your kitchen. You have a huge pantry area. Now, if it was me buying this property, I'd probably consider trying to open that up into your family room and just make it a nice big open space. The kitchen does have granite countertops, which is nice. There is gas at the home, so if you wanted to have a gas range, you could. It's currently set up with an electric range, but it has a fair amount of cabinetry and countertop space. We then make our way through this little door into your laundry room. It has a nice big open indoor laundry room, which I think is a great convenience. Down this hallway and to the left here, we have a little half bath, which is a nice convenience for your guests. Just a little commode, and then obviously there's a sink out here. And then we have access into your garage. That's a really good sized garage, a very good sized two car garage. You do have access into getting into your backyard through that door, a big workstation, two double doors, and a lot of storage space in here. Now, this room's also going to probably need some sheetrock work in the garage. So, we would come in through the garage, we come in through your laundry room. We have access into your backyard there. If we turn we into your kitchen, lots of pantry. Now from your kitchen, you can either go left into your 
formal dining rooms or, or, or dining room or up to the front door or if we turn right we come through your breakfast area you have these double doors that take you outside and then we are into your big family room now the bedrooms will be on this side of the home we come through the hallway here and down the hallway and to the left we have bedroom number one which obviously will need sheetrock work painting and some flooring it's a decent sized bedroom now one perk is all of the windows do appear to have been updated so it has new double paned windows which is nice and we have your closet. We'll need some closet doors and some sheetrock work. Continuing down the hallway to the left of that bedroom, we have full bathroom number one, which has a single vanity. Lots of built-in cabinetry here that I like. And then you have a shower and tub combo. Pretty basic bathroom. Could be stand to be remodeled, but I don't think you need it. Now, one neat thing that I like is that on the flooring in here, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it appears that they used a ceramic tile that looks like wood, which I think is pretty nice. Continuing down the hallway and to the left of that bedroom, we have bedroom number two which will need sheetrock, obviously some insulation, flooring, and painting. You have a little coat closet at the end of the hallway here, or rather a linen closet. And then we have bedroom number three, or your master bedroom and your master bath. Now this bedroom is kind of unique. When we step into the master bedroom, you know, it's a good sized bedroom. You have these sliding glass doors that take you out to the side of the home, which is kind of interesting. I might consider closing that up. This room is going to need sheetrock, it's going to need insulation and flooring. Now the bathroom is very unique in this master. You almost have like a his and her setup. On this side of the bathroom you have this single vanity and you have a walk-in closet. And then you have access into getting into your commode and shower area here. So you have your commode, you have your shower and tub combo here. But if we were to come back out through the bedroom and on this side is where we have that secondary, as I said, like a his and hers. So you have a single vanity here with some built-in cabinetry. You have a little accordion door here with a walk-in closet and some built-in shelves. And then you do have access into that shower and tub combo, as you can see here, and the commode. So that's about it. I like that it has a skylight in this bathroom. It gives you some nice ambient natural lighting. That's about it. The home, as I said, and as you can tell, will need quite a bit of work, but I think there's some potential to be a really good home for your family, especially if you are looking for something in a really reasonable price range that you can borrow money for. And don't forget, $100 down payment option. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 626 Silverton Street. That's 626 Silverton Street. A very nice three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, single-story home up in spring. Needs quite a bit of work, but it is way under the county appraisal. It's also eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive, and you can even borrow money to do those repairs. This home is listed right now for only $106,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.